Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town. And over the past few days, I ran a poll on my Pop Jam account to decide what I was going to draw in today's video. Thank you so much for 52,000 followers on Pop Jam, by the way. I knew I wanted it to be a scary video, so that's what I gave the options for. The overwhelming majority was for a scary mermaid original character, so that's what we're going to be doing right now. So right as I began to design this scary mermaid, I knew I wanted to go a natural route. I find that creature designs are more compelling and more believable when you look at animals that are similar to them. So immediately I started looking up all kinds of reference pictures of the creepiest animals in the sea, a lot of deep sea uh, fish and also a lot of sharks. I also thought that the anglerfish would be a good point of reference because, as we know, the anglerfish or lanternfish has a bright point of light that they hang over their face, and as fish are drawn to the light, they get drawn into the mouth of the anglerfish. And I thought that this has a lot of similarity to the story of mermaids and sirens luring uh, sailors with their beautiful faces into the sea to drown. So mermaids are already kind of scary, to be honest. Um, it's something that's sort of been turned more into a cute and girly concept later in our uh, cultural history, so I decided to take it a little bit back more to the siren, but in order to make this more of a scary creature design, I definitely wanted it to be more like an animal that mimics the face of a human. I of course wanted this creature to look carnivorous, so I gave it a lot of very sharp teeth. Those are based primarily on the teeth of sharks, but then I'm going to add in some longer teeth to be more like a couple different other types of fish that have a more asymmetrical, non-standard um, size of tooth, because I think that's very creepy as well. So I gave it sort of this little line um, attached to this mask that has all this sort of hair type stuff flowing off of it and we can see that the creature is hiding underneath the face and hair. So from a side angle we can see them, but from the top, if you were looking down in the water, you would not see the uh, intimidating face and I thought that would be super creepy. Um, I tried to keep the sort of body roughly in the shape of a normal mermaid because I figured if you see the shadows down in the water you would still want that shape to be mermaid-like to be a full trickery. Um, so I decided to base it off the idea that this perspective is supposed to be down into the water. In order to give this an extra creepy silhouette, I decided to give her a stinger like a stingray has instead of the standard beautiful fish tail that we typically see. Normally mermaids have a dolphin type way of propelling their body forward. They have a fin that is flat versus a fin that goes up like a shark. Um, so I was actually torn between giving her the bottom half of a shark instead, but I actually thought this would be a bit creepier. Stingrays are very deadly. They have killed many people before, so I thought that giving her a stinger would be super creepy and very dangerous looking. Lastly, for the coloring, I decided to go a very naturalistic route. So sharks have this coloring where they have a sort of silvery blue at the top and then white at the bottom, and this is for a very particular reason, especially for a predator. Predators, of course, don't want to be seen by their prey, and the white belly blends in very well with the upward view, where you'd be seeing the sun streaming through the water, whereas the dark bluish gray color blends in a lot when you're looking down into the water. So the effect is that this creature is almost invisible in the water. The final image is up on my Pop Jam account if you want to take a look at it. There's already a ton of nice comments. I hope it doesn't give you nightmares either, Artie Nutter. And I hope you feel better soon, small potato bean. <laughs> and if you don't have a Pop Jam already, there's a link in the description where you can download it for free. So once I did the scary mermaid, I was kind of on a roll and I wanted to do some other scary, cute creatures as well. So the next thing I thought of doing was fairies because like the mermaid, fairies have become a really adorable and super girly sort of icon for a lot of young people. But fairies originally were quite scary, especially to people back in the old days because fairies were blamed for a lot of sicknesses, a lot of things going wrong and for even stealing their children. So I thought this would be a perfect candidate to give the old creepy makeover to. 
So the first thing I thought of doing was very similar to the mermaid. I thought, well, how can we attach this to the natural world and make it look more convincing? And I thought, well, we should probably go for insects because insects are about the size of some people's conception of a fairy. Some myths about fairies actually make them more human size. Um, it kind of depends on which culture you're looking at. But I think for the average modern person, they see more of a Tinkerbell style fairy when they think of fairies. So that's what I'm basing this off of. My first thought was to create a moth-like fairy, but I thought that might actually be too cute. And I also started thinking more about what fairies used to be blamed for back in the olden days. Obviously stealing children was a big thing, but since I'm basing this off of an insect-sized fairy, that seems a little bit impossible. So instead I attached to the idea of fairies causing disease. As soon as I decided that was the route I wanted to go, I knew for sure what insect I wanted to base this off of, the mosquito. Now mosquitoes carry a lot of different diseases that can really hurt humans and um, it's because they drink blood and then they travel to other humans and then they can give other humans blood-based diseases, which is a huge problem. They have this really creepy, sharp, needly thing on their face called the proboscis. And um, so I attached that to her hand because I couldn't figure out a nice way to put it on her face. Um, it was very creepy, but I wanted this one to have somewhat closer to a human face since I went so off uh, the human form on the mermaid. So I basically just tried to incorporate different elements of the mosquito, like particularly the creepiest part for me, other than the proboscis, is the blood that you can see in their torso um, when they've recently drunk from a human or an animal. I think that's extremely creepy that they have this sort of transparent body and you can see all the blood they've drunk. I thought that was really, really creepy. So um, I made that part of the fairy as well. And I only gave her four limbs, so it's more like a fairy. I was originally gonna give her a whole bunch but I actually think this looks somewhat creepier. I'm not sure why, but to me, an insect with only like four limbs is like, it just looks really wrong to me. And lastly, I gave her some leafy hair because I, again, wanted it to look more like the original concept of a fairy and because fairies are often associated with earth and the elements. After that, I wanted to do one more and I thought I would go with the unicorn, but for this one I wanted to go really crazy and conceptual with it and try to create a really unique looking monster out of a unicorn. Because there actually are quite a few nightmare horse creatures in mythology and I didn't want to just copy that, so this time I wanted to create a creepy character. Um, so I first took the skull of a horse, I drew that, and then I added the sharp horn, and then I I made it into this creepy sort of like, I don't know, he looks like a weird creepy necromancer gentleman, um, which was kind of the concept for this one. This is not as standard as the other two that I did, but I thought for the last one I'd just experiment and try to do something a little weird. The skeleton of a horse is really unique. It's very interesting. Um, it's not very similar to uh, a lot of skulls that you typically see and um, that huge gap between the front teeth and the back teeth is like really creepy I think. I also thought that uh, using this one in a less like solidly inked way and try to make it look more like an old anatomical drawing would make it even creepier. I had a horrible time drawing this hand. I kept looking at my own hand and trying to copy that and it actually just made everything worse so I ended up doing it without reference instead and then it actually ended up looking a little better. Um, yeah, hands are hard. My deepest regret about this one is that he actually just looks way too much like the guy from Ancient Magus Bride, which was not my intention, but um, I think secretly my subconscious was like feeding me images of that because it looks way too much like it. But I don't know, I still kind of like it. I like the Victorian suit sort of look that he has going on and that's different enough, I guess. I also really like how the skull turned out with all the hatch shading. I think that that looks nice. And I tried to use some cool grays to do some nice modeling on the skull as well since that's such a major part of this design. I gave him sort of some like cold charcoal colored skin because I thought that would look more demon-y. I was definitely getting like a demon-y kind of vibe from him. He looks like someone who would make you a deal that you wouldn't want to take. And with that, he is finished as well. So there is my unicorn, fairy, and mermaid that I have turned scary and creepy and weird. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Thank you so much to Pop Jam for sponsoring this video. Definitely check out the app and follow me on there. I post my art and do polls and stuff like that. And I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much to my patrons, including Bambo, Cal Pong Pong, Cat Puppuccino, Dr. Casket, Dustin Williams, Elizabeth Alvin, Hanuki, Hope Chilsom, JJ Jade, Blep, Blah 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 Blah, Matthew Kunke, Micah Dactyl, Okamore, Ollie, Rachel Singh, Rosie Warlock, Sergeant Pendulum, The Artsy Moose, Your Boy ST, Zixith, and Zoe Stardust.